Hey, what's that, Missoula? Yellowstone relocates to Montana, the state flower is in full bloom along Missou Missoula city streets, and the city gets into the housing development game, so stay tuned for the details on that. I'm Claire Matten with Sterling Commercial Real Estate Advisors, here with advisor Matt Millat. So Matt, tell me, what is your favorite TV show you're binging on right now? It's Yellowstone, of course. <laughs> okay. Nothing could be closer to reality than The Sopranos in Montana. And as it turns out, our team had the opportunity to help bring one of cable TV's most popular shows to the Missoula Valley. Yellowstone, which stars Kevin Costner, secured a lease space near Missoula in preparation for season four. I think it's common knowledge that portions of the show were shot in Darby, Montana, but now the full soundstage and production offices are also moving to Montana. It was a really interesting lease to facilitate. We learned that not only does a production this size need a lot of square footage, they also need high ceilings for cranes and sound dampening and some pretty extreme light control. And that's in addition to buildings for wardrobe and set dressing. So it takes a lot of real estate to keep such a big production in motion. And it's really exciting from an economic development perspective, especially with production during Montana's fall shoulder season, when we typically see a reduction in visitor activity. With anywhere between 30 and 150 staff on site, it's a great economic boost for the area and definitely some bragging rights for Montana. So back in city limits, a couple of big things are on the move. Matt, remind me again, why is West Broadway all torn up near the intersection by Mullen Road? Well, when the roads get torn up, the state flower can come out, which is the orange construction cone, so they're in full bloom. <laughs> yes. And in this case, the torn up street is actually infrastructure being extended to the corner of Maple Street and West Broadway to support several new buildings that are going up in the area. You'll also see some excavators moving dirt for the new Montana gastroenterology facility where Lighthouse Coffee used to stand. This new medical facility will be a big boost to Western Montana's overall medical offerings, as well as a pretty big job creator for the area. That's great news. And with all the uncertainty out there right now, new jobs coming to the area are definitely sure. welcome. So finally, the Missoula Redevelopment Agency approved an approximate $6 million purchase of a 19-acre tract along Scott Street that has been for sale for a number of years. The land was formerly part of the White Sash Pine Superfund site and will be used for residential development and as a new spot for the city maintenance yards. The purchase was ultimately approved by the city council with nine members voting yes and three members voting no. So what do you think, Missoula? Should the city be developing Superfund sites into housing? Let us know in the comments below. That wraps up this edition of Hey, What's That, Missoula? You can keep up on all the dirt moving around Missoula by clicking the link below to sign up for updates from Sterling CRE. You can also follow us on Facebook and LinkedIn. See all of our commercial listings at sterlingcreadvisors.com. And thank you for watching.